Hey guys, welcome back to another cooking tutorial. This is a recipe that I have created and I will take all the credit. <laughs> so we're gonna start off by melting one tablespoon of coconut oil. And to that, these are the ingredients we're going to add. Some baby bok choy, some onion, and a baby yellow pepper. Now I diced these up really, really well and I added them to the coconut oil. And in this coconut oil, we are just going to saute these until they're nice and soft. Sometimes I like to add the bok choy last just because it cooks pretty quick and the onions and the peppers take a little longer. But in this case, I threw them all together because I was a little short on time. So what we do, as I said, is we stir up the veggies. Now, obviously you can alter this to anything you like, but these are the three onion, pepper, and bok choy. These are the three vegetables that I love in my sticky rice. And with the coconut oil, the combination gives you such a great coconut flavor to the background of this. You guys are going to absolutely love it. So moving on to this next clip, this was just after about five minutes of sauteing and the uh, vegetables are breaking down and they're getting a little bit soft. And this is the part that I love the most. I saute them, I smell it, I'm loving what's going on, and then I decided to add some salt. Of course, pink Himalayan on keto, what other kind of salt would we use? And then a little black ground pepper, just to add a little bit of spice to the background of this because it is kind of, I wouldn't say bland meal, but it's definitely not anything spicy. So moving forward to sauteing it just a little more, it gives it a really nice um, background to the cauliflower when we add it because obviously we're not using rice. So here's one cup of frozen cauliflower. I add it frozen and the reason I do this is I find frozen cauliflower, when it breaks down, it releases a little bit of the water that obviously frozen food has. And when it does that, it, it not only sautés, but it kind of steams at the same time. I've done this with raw cauliflower and I really prefer it to be frozen. I don't know, it just gives it a better texture. Now I'm going to be adding some chopped garlic. Now I buy it in a jar just because it's convenient. Half a teaspoon. It just gives enough not anything potent, just enough of um, a garlic flavor to the background of this rice dish. Now you can eliminate this, you can add whatever spices you like, but these are the things that I prefer. So again, I'm sauteing just a little bit longer, and then comes my most favorite part. We are going to be adding some whipped cream cheese. Yes, whipped guys, I know it's a little bit more expensive, but oh my gosh, it's so light and fluffy, and it makes the dish so much different than the packaged Philadelphia brand cream cheese. So in we put two generous, and I mean generous, tablespoons of cream cheese. This is full fat whipped cream cheese. The goal to this whole thing is to get this cream cheese to break down, obviously. And when it does, it is going to be the most amazing mock sticky rice I can't even get over what this is. I really just threw this together one night and I have not stopped eating it since. Amazing fats, um, wonderful low carb because the vegetables I'm using, the cauliflower, the baby bok choy, and the one little pepper in there is truly all low carb vegetables. I mean, there's nothing in there high carb. So after doing this and the cream cheese melts down, this is what we have. Are you kidding me? Tell me, are you kidding? You can add shrimp, chicken, beef, pork. You can add anything to this. You can have it on the side. I like it on the side, but on occasion, throw something else in there. You could even throw sausage, pepperoni, anything you guys like, but I'm telling you, this is a great comfort food and I can foresee myself eating this in the winter. You know when it's cold and rainy and dark and you just want to come home from work and eat something cozy and comforting? This will do the trick, I promise you. So anyway, thumbs up, please subscribe, let me know in the comments below if you like it, if you tried it, if you, whatever. Just, I love hearing back feedback. So again, please subscribe guys and thumbs up so this can get out to everybody. Stay focused and I'll see you in my next video.